2022 anti-hero character Black Adam is born. The film, starring Dwayne Johnson, has top-notch special effects and the main character, Adam, fights from beginning to end, different from the previous superheroes. Black Adam is a god, while guarding the world, will also send down a thunderbolt to clean up the filth. As early as 5,000 years ago, the Kandak civilization already existed. The king at that time was cruel and ruthless, enslaving the entire Kandak with his army, and his purpose was to forge the evil Shabak crown. This crown brought together the power of six ancient demons. Once it is unleashed, its bearer will be invincible, and the constant gold to forge the crown can only be obtained in Kandak. The people of Kandak collected the constant gold for him day and night. On this day, an older adult inadvertently finds a piece, and the enslaved people around him cast strange glances, seeing that the people were about to implode. A young boy stepped in to stop them, however, the older adults led the little boy to the guards and asked them to take credit. As a result, incredibly, the guards take the constant gold and use their knives against the adults. The guards were ready to lay hands on the little boy, but the boy's father intervened in time to intercede on his behalf and the boy was spared. The father told him not to be a hero because the hero was already buried in the ground. The young boy looked at the enslaved people and was very unsettled inside. With these words, he ran to the guards and took the constant gold and raised the Kandak gesture, a symbol of freedom. The enslaved people put down the tools in their hands and responded to him with the same gesture. However, this aroused the wrath of the king, who had him beheaded in public as an example to others. Before he died, the boy remained indefatigable and kept the gesture, and a miracle happened. The boy's spirit led him to be chosen by the Council of Magicians, who are the magical guardians of the earth. The elders endowed him with the divine powers of six ancient Egyptian gods. He had become a guardian, yet the crown of Shabak was complete. Black Adam arrived at the palace. By virtue of the crown, the king summoned the power of the demons. Endless energy poured out of the palace and no one knew what was happening inside. But Black Adam won. 5,000 years later, countless civilizations rise and fall. Kandak is once again invaded by international gangs, and the people lose their freedom, but their heroes are slow to appear. Archaeologist Adriana, a local, discovered the location of the crown ahead of time and had to find it and move it before the international gangs. Adriana succeeds in finding the crown by deciphering the inscription on the stone wall, but unexpectedly, the international gang followed she. They took Adriana's brother as a hostage and forced her to give up the crown. She can only compromise. Adrian decoded the magic on the ground. A wave of energy lifted from the crowd. Black Adam, who had been imprisoned for 5,000 years, finally came back to life. The mercenaries went up to reconnoiter, but were directly electrocuted into skeletons by Black Adam, and countless bullets were fired at him. As a result, not even the defense could be broken. Black Adam slowly rose into the air, and then it was a one-sided abuse. As he kept dodging and jumping, the mercenary was killed directly in second streak. The battle between the two sides triggered a collapse. Seeing that Adriana was about to be smashed to death, the hero stepped in at a crucial moment. After taking care of the mercenaries, Black Adam punched through the mountain wall. When he saw the sun again after 5,000 years, countless warplanes and armed forces were waiting for him, but the missiles couldn't hit him at all. He dodged to one plane, held it down and came into close contact with another. Fire from the ground was aimed at him, but it was useless. The two sides were not on the same level. With his fearsome strength and powerful flesh, Black Adam was able to destroy the international mercenaries in no time. Adriana, who was preparing to run away, bumped into him inadvertently. Adriana was outwardly calm, but inwardly panicked. And a survivor he took the opportunity to fire a rocket made by Hankin. As a result, Adam caught it. The rocket exploded with the addition of Hang Jin. In such close proximity, even Adam was not spared. And a backhanded swipe solved the leak. He was just about to fly away. And just as he got into the air, he fell off. Seeing this scene, Adriana had to take it home. In the meantime, his actions were known to the distant Justice Society. This unrestrained force deserved to be imprisoned. Hawkman immediately gathered his helpers and headed straight to Kandak in a special plane. Gangs of mercenaries from international gangs were following them. At this point, the main character is still dreaming, but not in a good way. The Superman poster above the bed is immediately affected and Adriana's young son is excited. Because the legend of Adam, until now, still circulates in Candace. But Adam claims that he is not a hero. Under the adoring eyes of the young boy, he welded himself. Hearing the sound coming from next door and going straight over the wall, several people were confused by the scene. Adam, who had just awakened and still needed to adapt, 
took flight to the stone statue built for him, but said a strange word. Meanwhile, the mercenaries found the mother and son, and the two were about to be taken away. Adam returned. The man came up and attacked Adam. The result was awkward. Leaning back to the sky, Adam is ruthless, not much to say. Directly a few dodging hit on them, the distant sneak attack he also did not let go, about to be dropped dead when the Justice Society arrived. Eagle Man came to the rescue of the two, just as they were about to escape, they were killed by a lightning bolt that fell from the sky, the atmosphere is suddenly tense, and Dr. Fate handsomely appears. Dr. Fate has almost divine magic and is qualified to stand tall, but in front of him is the real god. Black Adam was the first to strike, knocking back two people in one fell swoop, and two other members of the Justice Society joined the fight. Whirlwind, who controlled the power of the wind, manipulated countless steel pipes to shoot at Adam. Atomic Smasher also began to rush into battle. Adam was about to power up when he was smashed to the ground by a running Adam Smasher. But as a god, was Adam such an easy fix? Just when he thought things were settled, the ground began to shake and the nearby electronics began to malfunction, a burst of lightning erupted from the ground, and Black Adam punched Atomic Smasher straight down. One hit KO. Cyclone went up to check. Fortunately not dead. With four against one, even the near-godly Dr. Fate couldn't bring Adam down. Several people could only watch him leave. The first encounter ended badly like this. Dr. Fate immediately found Adriana and knew through precognition that Adriana had taken Shabak's crown. But Adriana says they have been at the mercy of the armed forces and have lost their freedom for 30 years. The so-called Justice Society has never come to deliver justice for 30 years. And now that their hero has been restored, they come to bully the less with the more. However, the Justice Society says that Adam is no hero at all. Adriana came alone to the shrine to pacify both sides. At this point, Adam is quietly looking at the statue in front of him, and the truth finally comes out. Adam who gained the ability is to take revenge. At that time, he was filled with hatred inside, and his power grew stronger and stronger until it burst out uncontrollably. This act almost led to the destruction of Kandak 5000 years ago. The elders of the Wizards Guild thought they had chosen the wrong man, so they worked together to seal him in a stone wall. This sealing lasted for 5000 years, and Adam admitted that he never claimed to be a hero. Adam agrees to negotiate with the Justice Society, but the two sides confront each other as soon as they meet. Meanwhile, the International Gang found Adrienne's son, apparently for King's Crown. Learning of this, Adriana immediately turns to Adam for help, and Adam arrives just in time to save the boy. But just as he was about to settle the man, Adriana's friend rebelled. It turns out that Adriana's friends betrayed them and saw the boy being taken away. Adam immediately tracks them down, but modern technology can travel through matter, and they send many flying motorcycles to cover. Adam searched for several, but did not find them until the last two were left. After flying about halfway around the world, Adam finally caught up with the last motorcycle. He used himself as a meat cushion and managed to get the motorcycle to land safely. But when he opened the hatch, the little boy wasn't there. The little boy was transferred to a truck. This time, Adam was completely furious and sent the pilot into the air as fast as he could. Dr. Fate's shadow appears, learns that Adam has not found the little boy, and asks to read the driver's mind. But the poor driver died just as he hit the ground and should not be able to read it. And just then, Dr. Fate's real father was talking to Adriana. A figure broke out of the wall. It was Adam. And Hawkman returned with two captives. Adriana went up and punched and kicked him forcing him to ask for his son's whereabouts. But Adam stopped her under the teachings of the Justice Society. He knew that now society should not hurt the captives. To respect them, then fly to the atmosphere with two people. This interrogation method is also invincible. Getting the young boy's whereabouts. The crowd went immediately, but Adam left halfway through. He preferred to destroy everything head on, rather than the elaborate plan of the Justice Society. With his great power, Adam killed the enemy's lair directly from the outside, but he was blocked by a constant golden shield that he could not break. The man was waiting for them to come. He wanted to trade the boy for the crown. Adriana took out the crown to save her son. The Justice Society tried to stop it, but was interrupted by Adam. The man got the crown as he wished, but did not keep his promise. The man was a descendant of the king and the crown belonged to the man. After reciting the spell, the boy was shot again. Adam rushed out to deflect the bullet for the boy and then went on a rampage. But fortunately, the Justice Society was prepared. A wave of cooperation managed to protect several people. After the explosion, the surrounding area was instantly turned into rubble. Fortunately, the boy was only injured, and the man wearing the crown had been turned into charcoal. Death was the end? 
Black Adam is ostracized by the Justice Society and seen as a threat to modern society because of his powerful destructive power and ruthless attitude toward his opponents, but the deeper reason is that Dr. Fate has encountered a future disaster, they believe that this disaster comes from Black Adam. Even if Black Adam is sealed again, the future tragedy still does not disappear and Hawkman dies. It turns out that after solving the mastermind and retrieving the crown of Shabak, Black Adam returned to the temple and quietly looked at his stone statue. This divine power that the world coveted was never actually what he wanted. And with the Hawkman following close behind, Adam knew why the Hawkman feared his power. Adam tells his story. It turns out that the little boy is not him, but Adam's son. He is the one who was given the power of Shazam by the sorcerer. When the king persecuted Adam and his wife, instead of fighting the king and protecting Kandak, the boy with the power chose to give it to the father. Thus, Black Adam was born, but the boy was struck by a hidden arrow, and just like that, the true hero died. The angry Adam completed his final transformation, then he took his revenge on the king full of rage. Because of his anger, Kandak was almost destroyed. He was a sinner, and this statue was not him. It was his son. Shazam's power was not a blessing to him but a curse. He brought only destruction, and he pronounced the word Shazam, just as the Hawkman had hoped. Adam chose to give up his power and become immortal again. This scene undoubtedly shocked Hawkman, but he complied with Adam's wishes and used the technique to put him to sleep. Staying underwater forever, and this similar sleep. There are many, many more here, but just when everyone thought the world was at peace, the charred corpse reacted. The man's chanting before he died managed to bring his soul to hell. The key to gaining demonic power, and countless magical powers poured in. The crown inside the plane also disappeared instantly. Far away, gathered six ancient demonic power of the Shabak was still born. As soon as he appeared, he confronted the Justice Society and tore their airship apart. Shabak's goal is to sit on the throne of the Pantheon. Then, Kandak will be turned into purgatory. The Justice Society unites to stop him. But in the end they are defeated, allowing him to break through the defenses. Shabak entered the temple and Dr. Fate knew they were no match. So he set up a boundary to stop the heroes. He had to go alone to face Shabak. And this is the only way to change Eagle Man's fate. He summoned the Holy Sword to suppress Shabak. At the same time, he split into countless doppelgangers to stop him from approaching the throne. And his will doppelganger came to the bottom of the sea and unleashed Black Adam. Shabak lost his patience and directly shattered the doctor's attack. With certain death in his heart, the doctor frankly removed his helmet. And the Hawkman arrived just in time to see him struck through. A hero had fallen. The energy of Shabak sitting on his throne connects the entire Kandak. The three remaining men are no match, and the inhabitants of Kandak are alienated into zombies. Adam is still dreaming. In the dream, his son asks him to return and the sorcerers choose him. And he chose his father. He pronounced the word kill praise again. Black Adam returned. A battle took place between him and Shabak. The two fought to a standstill. And finally, with the help of the Hawkman and the Helm of Destiny, Shabak was pressed to the throne. Adam inspired his power, grabbed his horns, flew into the sky, and tore him right in half. He wasn't a hero, but someone was. End of story. Adam ends up on the throne, but he shatters him with a backhanded punch. At the end of the story, although he defeated the villain, some people are still afraid of him. For this reason, Superman, who has been away from Earth for many years, returns.